Motec on Money continues. This is Frank Motec. And with me now, Gene Soroka, Executive Director of the Port of Los Angeles, which is seeing business from China drop dramatically these days because of massive shutdowns in the areas of China hit by the coronavirus. Gene Soroka, thank you very much for coming to the light and give us an update on what's happening there at the port. The latest information I have, Frank, is that 40 vessel sailings have been canceled from Asia, mainly China, to the Port of Los Angeles from February 11th through April 1st. Those 40 vessel cancellations, Frank, would represent nearly 25% of our normal traffic at the Port of Los Angeles. See it tonight, read about it tomorrow, but hear it now on Motec on Money. That is obviously a significant hit. Has anyone calculated the, the dollar impact of this uh, big news here? Uh, there are a number of revenue streams that are floating here. The goods themselves, the ocean freight, the business on the docks, truck and warehouse communities, this will be substantial, Frank. And I've given guidance to the marketplace that for the first quarter of 2020, the Port of Los Angeles volume will be down 15% year on year. I understand uh, empty containers are starting to pile up there uh, at the port. Uh, Give us an update on what's happening there on the scene. That's right, Frank. I was back east this week talking to customers of ours, among others in the industry. Empty containers are piling up in the Midwest as well as on our coastal ports, in addition to non-perishable exports. We're going to start to see a whipsaw effect in the industry. Pretty quickly, those empties and exports will need to be evacuated to get ready for factory production when we curb or hopefully eradicate this virus and workers can get back on the job. This is a human health concern, number one, and we need all hands on deck to get our people well and back to productive lives. But at the same time, we're going to have to find equilibrium in the industry to play catch up and then even out before we reach our traditional peak season this summer. What news are you getting uh, out of China and uh, the expectation uh, on when they'll be able to to crank up again? Working with contacts in China for decades and after having lived in Shanghai during the SARS health event, I can tell you the production right now across the supply chain is between 30 and 40 percent of normal capacity. We're looking not only at factory workers going back, what's happening at the ports and with the truck community, but we're also watching very closely the levels of traffic and industry energy usage. So all of that ties down to the fact that we're not really back to work in full stream yet, and the China central government continues to work on issues of health concern and how we get the working class back to the job. Based on your uh, past experience uh, with SARS and other other things that have happened uh, in the past, what's the expectation on um, how long this uh, situation will last uh, and how long this uh, economic impact will last? It's very difficult even for me to project at this time, Frank. I think the first thing we have to see is a slowing or creeping down of the diagnosed illnesses. And we have not seen that yet. That will trigger some positive events as we go forward. But this is truly a day-to-day and overnight watch from our side. And, of course, the cruise industry also being impacted all of this with the cruise lines repositioning ships out of Asia and, at least in one case, to Los Angeles, right? Give us an update on the the cruise part of all this. Yeah, we'll see an uptick in, in cruise capacity, as you're right. These mobile assets are moved into markets such as Mexico and Hawaii for the Port of Los Angeles. But we're also working very closely with the United States Coast Guard, the CDC in Atlanta, and the Los Angeles County Health Department to make sure that we are monitoring the crews and passengers as closely as we can. But there will be more crews and passenger business coming to the Port of Los Angeles. Gene Soroka, director of the Port of Los Angeles. We look forward to being in close contact with you as we follow all these uh, developments very, very closely. Gene Soroka, thank you very much for coming to the line with that important update this weekend. Thank you, Frank. We'll continue to keep you posted.